Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you for another opportunity, God, to say thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you for breath and life, God. We thank you for being joy and sorrow, God. We thank you for being hope on tomorrow, God. Lord, we thank you for you are our strength, God. Everything that we need is in you, God. God, we thank you, God, for blessing us to be here. Hallelujah. Blessing us to be here with our hurt, harm, by danger, God. Lord, you brought us here. And we give your name the praise, God. We thank you. Hallelujah. You're everything. You're the light of the world, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for how you have blessed us over and over again, God. How you have brought us out, God. How you have made ways out of no way, God. We thank you. We thank you. Because you are the way. Thank you, and life, God. Lord, we thank you. We call those things that be not as though they were, God. In the name of Jesus, God, I speak life. Hallelujah. In a dead situation, God. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, there's nothing too hard for you, God. All things are possible, God, to them that believe. God, and Lord, we trust in you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for your miracles that you've done, God. We thank you for the miracles that you're going to do, God. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. We have victory on today, God. In the name of Jesus, we have victory on today, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you for the word that shall come forth in your name, Jesus. Bless our bishop on today, God. As he speak a word on today, God, that we open up our hearts and our minds to understand and hear clarity of your word, God. Now we receive it, God. In the name of Jesus, God, bless us, God, that we'll never be the same, God. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I will be reading Psalm 62, yes. verses 5 through 8. Find rest, O oh my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at yes. all times. Yes. Oh, people, yes. pour out your hearts to him. Yes. For God is our refuge. Yes. I've read Psalm 62, verses 5 through 8. Blessed is to hear it, yes. the reading yes. of the word. Yes. Receive it, yes. set it apart yes. in your heart. Yes. You may be seated. Amen. 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 Trust God. I will. But to trust God, you got to depend on Him. Amen. 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 You got to depend on Him. You can't trust somebody if you don't depend on Him. Amen. Amen. So this song simply says, I can. It's an old one. I love this song. I can depend on God. I can depend on Sister Ellen. Amen. 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 Break us all through. Amen. 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 I can depend. I can depend on God.
for as good as his kindness and his tender mercy and all those bountiful and wonderful things, he has toiled permanently in the ways that we do. We thank him. Brother, would you long? Let that be glad in your way. In the closing church of Fowl Tower today, along as we have all the seven churches, is our power. We invite you to chapter 2, verses 27 through 29. Revelation chapter 2, verses 27 through 29. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful, wondrous blessings. You have stored up us and you want good back to you. We thank you. We pray you open the ears of the hymns and hearts of the seals that your word will follow good and fertile ground and produce fruit in days to come. I pray, God, that you will keep the humble, open, submissive, and sensitive to your spirit. Keep me ever, ever for the cross where you give a go with me. I'm ever life of me, your servant. Speak, God. Speak a fresh word, speak a prayer word, speak a life changing word. Speak, God, for thy servant do it here. God, I pray that you will let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. These blessings we ask in Jesus' awesome mighty name, we pray and we thank you. Amen. Amen. Look at these three verses again. Sister Jordan, Johnson, God bless you too. Brother Peter, God bless you too. Amen. Amen. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. They shall be dashed to pieces like the potter's vessels. As I also have received from my Father, I will and I will give him the morning stop. Mm -hmm. He who has an ear, let him hear what yes. the Spirit yes. says to the churches. Last week I talked about ship. Today I want to talk about endure right. to the end. Mm -hmm. Endure to the end. Let me give a quick synopsis on chapter this Thyatira church. This church starting in verse 18 to 29. This church was started off very well. God was committed this church for their good work and their faithfulness in the work. Mm -hmm. Doing well. They were being committed and they were commendable for their work, for their labor. Hold on, Father, sorry. Ready to come here. Come here. Come here. They were committed for their work. They were very commendable for their work, mm -hmm. for the Lord. We go on and 
Jesus says this, I have a few things against you. You have allowed that, that woman, this woman, Jezebel, to seduce you and to convince you to start worshiping and in our immorality, mm -hmm. doing the things that she says. And she is a prophet, she says. Mm -hmm. She's a false prophet. Mm -hmm. She ain't real, she called herself. God did not call her. She was called by herself. Man. She had hoodwinked and bamboozled the church at Thyra yeah. to follow her teachings, follow her seduction mm -hmm. and eating food that were given to idols. All right. But, this is where the shift comes in last week. Not everybody in the church, oh, I'm a Muslim now. I All right. All too, right. Come on. Not everybody was following mm -hmm. Jezebel. All right. Not everybody was following after her teachings and her things. Mm -hmm. There were a few of remnant mm -hmm. that followed after God's teachings mm -hmm. and followed the biblical principles of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And so God commends them for their faithfulness. Mm -hmm. I agree on. He commends them for their faithfulness. He tells them, because you are holding on and have held on, mm -hmm. you are not suffering any more burdens mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. that the rest of them will suffer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go back. Let me backtrack. Because, because she did not repent, she was allowed to repent. All right. All right. But she did not repent. It's dangerous when you are allowed to repent and you don't repent. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. And the Bible says that, that, that because she did not repent mm -hmm. and was allowed to repent, but she did not repent. Mm -hmm. God, Jesus said that he will put a bed of sickness on her. All right. He goes on, he said, and I will kill her children. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on and says, and carry those who hung on in her and still hanging in there. Mm -hmm. Let me say this, everybody who go to church ain't doing right. All right. Amen. 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 Let me explain that. They followed everybody but God. Amen. That's, That's why I say that. All right. All right. They followed any and everything but God. Amen. These who followed Jezebel were in the church, but followed her. Uh -huh. They brought up in the church. They grew up in the church. They were taught different principles, but they found they allowed a woman to seduce them. All right. But God, through Jesus, encourages those who held on in there, mm -hmm. who did not get seduced, who did not get hooked with the bamboozle, and they hung it up, and God tells them, I am not going to put mm -hmm. any more burdens on you. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 25, follow me, man. 25 says this, remain faithful. Till the end. Mm -hmm. Keep doing what you're doing mm -hmm. till I return. Mm -hmm. There are going to be some distractions while you're doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. It's up to you and me to what we do with the distractions. Right. Do we follow the distractions or we follow Jesus? Right now. Can I just say this? Who are we following? Mm -hmm. What are we following? Mm -hmm. He attacked the church. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Remain faithful to God. Yeah. 26. Mm -hmm. He says this. To him who wins in victory or conquer or overcome. Mm -hmm. Jesus is here emphasizing the need for perseverance mm -hmm. and endurance. We in a day and time where we need some perseverance. Uh -huh. We need some patience yeah. and we need some endurance. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. So yeah. endurance. And, and I heard him and, and trying to school with earlier, but said, said, this walk ain't for no weakness. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Go through. This walk right here mm -hmm. is for the strong. Mm -hmm. This walk right here mm -hmm. is for those who are walking and stepping in victory. Because it, it, there are going to be some tough times on the journey. Yes, yes, yes. There are going to be some days you're going to cry. Mm -hmm. And it ain't, it's not a bed of roses. Amen. Say that. 
Can I just lose the weight? Only the strong shall survive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have to be Holy Ghost. Yeah. Only the only the strong will survive. Yeah. And so Jesus tells the church who are living according to God's word, according to God's will, and not following that crazy woman Jezebel. He said, endure. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Tell Yes, yes. Watch this. 27. I have, he's going to project in a moment, the rod of honor. Mm-hmm. What does it mean? I have, I'm going to project it. Who are the faithful believers? Mm-hmm. Let's deal with that. Since we are in chapter, uh, verse 27. This is this. First question is, what is this rod of honor? I'll give you an example here. Those who overcome shall share. This is those who overcome. I gotta say Those who overcome mm-hmm. shall share in Christ's triumph mm-hmm. and join him in his work of the shepherd with the rod of arm. What keep following me? Watch this. The shepherd's rod was used this is to break the bones of the enemy of the sheep. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just to scare them away, it was to break their bones. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it? it was literally to hurt the enemy of the sheep. Mm-hmm. That rod of R was to do bodily harm. Mm-hmm. Break the bones of the enemy. I'll this this way. Break the bones of the wolves. Mm-hmm. Break the wool, break the uh, the bones of those foxes who tried to infiltrate the herd of sheep. Mm-hmm. That rod, that shepherd's rod, was of arm and was heavy and would break the bones of foxes or wolves. Uh-huh. Mm, okay, I'm going to give you that picture right there. Watch this. This it is. The rod of arm will shatter. I think what it does with sheep, or the enemy of the sheep. But also, I'm going to tell you what it does for the enemy of Christ. That rod. The rod will mm, mm, shatter. Christ rejected. Christ rejected nations or people just as pottery jars <laughs> are shattered into small pieces. If you have the King James, I think it says uh, Shivers. The Shivers. That means broken into pieces. Mm-hmm. Now, it means broken into small pieces. All right. And it means not in just pieces, but it says in small pieces. I mm-hmm. mean, that's the dramatic day, a damage to the lottery. Small pieces. Mm-hmm. Watch this. The picture here is to tie the prophecy of Psalms 2, verses 8 and 9. Also, Daniel chapter 2, verses 34. Okay, I'll show you. I see y'all right. Verses 34 and 35. Also, verse 44 and 45 of Daniel chapter 2. Watch this. So Psalms 2 shows that God will give his messianic son the nations or people of the earth as his inheritance. Let's go further. We want something a minute. Watch this. As his inheritance. Faithful believers. That arm was made of arm. We told you what it was like. But now the faithful believers. Watch this. The faithful believers. <laughs> All right. In crisis are heirs of God. Yeah. Not only they're heirs of God, but they're joint heirs with Christ. Mm-hmm. So they will share in this inheritance and be with him when he comes to establish his kingdom on earth. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 7. Mm-hmm. 
Titus chapter 3 and verse 7 supports the joint heir. Do you not know that if we hang on in there, we are, we are joint heirs? All right. Amen. Amen. We're heirs with God. Amen. We're joint heirs with Christ. Amen. Watch this. We get everything he gets. All right. Amen. All right. I don't know about you. Do you want everything God got? All right. Mm -hmm. Do you not know that everything he has is for us? Amen. And all we have to do is, is do what is right, walk and believe, and in due to the end, we will get our inheritance. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, somebody said, uh, sing a song, inheritance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want my inheritance. Yeah. You, you, you and I are all the more our inheritance mm -hmm. as true, authentic believers. Not fakes, but authentic believers. We are the one all that is ours. I'm coming home. Watch this, verse 28. Like, I like this. I'm going to read from the key, James. I'm going to read from the key, James. He said this. I will give you the morning star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got projected there. This is this. I'll give you more than power mm -hmm. and authority. Because mm -hmm. we want power. Yeah. We want authority. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, no, I'm going to give you something better than power and authority. All right. The question is, what, what is this morning star? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is the morning star? I'm glad you asked me. To the overcomers of all churches and all times who share in Christ's triumph, mm -hmm. he will give more than power and authority over nations. All right. I will give them the morning star. Mm -hmm. I don't want to scream and holler where I'm going to take the morning star is. Mm -hmm. It's better than power. It's better than authority. All right. Jesus tell the church that I'm going to give you this. Mm -hmm. You who are still holding on, mm -hmm. you who are still hanging in there, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you more than power and authority. I'm going to give you the morning star. All right. All right. Watch what he's saying. Jesus here is saying that he will give of himself mm -hmm. to the overcoming believer in a new mm, more wonderful mm. way than ever before. All right, all right. He's been good to us already, Amen. but he said, he gonna, I'm going to give you myself even more, in yeah. a, more and more and a new way mm -hmm. mm, than ever before. I'm about to do something better than power. I'm going to do something better than, than authority. Right. I'm going to give you me. Yeah. You know, we yeah. sing that song, I give yeah. myself away. Yeah. Jesus, no, no, I'm going to really give you. I gave my life for you. Uh -huh. But I'm about to give you more than my life now. Uh -huh. I'm going to give I'm gonna give myself more to you yeah. than ever before. In a better way, in a new way, uh -huh. in a better all. You're going to be better than yeah. ever before. Yeah. I'm going to give you me. All right, all right. And you got, you got power. Amen. When you got me, you got authority. Yeah. So don't ever, don't ever, don't ever yeah. leave me. Don't ever forsake me. I'm going to give you more mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. than you want. Yeah. If you maintain and hang on it and hold on, I'm going to give you more. Yeah. Because if you hang it on it, you deserve more. Yeah. You deserve more of me. You deserve more of my authority. Uh -huh. You deserve more of my power. Yeah. I'm going to give you myself because yeah. I am the Lord and Son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, somebody said, somebody said, somebody said, he's a bright uh -huh. yes. and Lord and Son. Yes, yes, yes. He'll light up my life. Oh, yes, he will. In a dark situation, in the night seasons of my life. Mm -hmm. God will shine light yes, yes. on my night seasons of life. Mm -hmm. He will reveal himself in my night season. Yes. He will manifest himself in my night season. Yes. He will bless me through my night season. Even the Bible says in, in, in Psalms 30 and 5, he says, we may endure for night. Yes. Do you understand that the night will not always last? Because yes. the morning is coming yes. after a while. Yes. Yes. You just got to hang on in there. Yes. 
I got to hang on in there. There will be tears. There will be shed yeah. on the journey. But he says and gives us the assurance that we can man do it for that. But Lord, yeah. there's a shift in the morning. Yeah. There's a change in the morning. Uh -huh. And I can make it through the night. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Give me strength through the night. Can I go further though? 
Listen, thank you. He said, all those who do not listen will be shattered by the judgment to come. You remember I talked about the rod? Mm -hmm. How the rod shot, shattered the pieces of pottery mm -hmm. into small pieces? He said, if we don't listen, mm -hmm. if we don't listen and if we don't adhere and gravitate to the word of God, he says, you will be shattered in judgment to come. Yeah. Mm. I read that. But it wasn't it, it said like this in the other three. It was said like this in the church of Fowler Tower for all the churches. He says, you better listen to what I'm saying through the Spirit. Yes. I'm trying to get you to the kingdom. And I need you to listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Mm -hmm. Don't ignore my word. Don't turn them into my word. He says, hear what I got to say. Because I am going to bring you in uh -huh. to the kingdom. And you allow you to get to the kingdom, and I, you will not like be in the new Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to show everything on this earth, and I'm going to bring my kingdom to the earth. Yeah. Because do you not know that the kingdom was supposed to be on earth anyway? All right. Until Adam and uh -huh. Eve messed up. Yeah. yeah. And so now God said, I'm going to bring back what was supposed to be. All right. I'm going to restore. What was supposed to be. Yes. I'm going to declare what was supposed to be back to what it is. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I need my church. Mm -hmm. I need my bride. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back to my bride. Yes. Yes. I'm going to say this, I'm coming home. How dressed up is my bride? Mm. Can I just do it in the natural? Because when there's a wedding, the bride, she looks her best. Amen. She done got a wig done. Come on, y'all. Amen. Got a hair. She done went to, to the beautician. All right. She went to the glorious salon. Mm -hmm. Got a wig done. Amen. Ready for the bride, the groom to come. And ready for, ready for the wedding. Mm -hmm. Got herself fixed up. Got a nail done. Got a medic. Oh, medic hair. Got, got a back hair. Yeah. Got all the hair. Yeah. Got prepped up. Ready for the great day. Ready for the great day to look real beautiful for, uh -huh. for, for, for that day uh -huh. and for the groom. Yeah. But I'm going to tell the church, are you getting dressed up for Jesus? Yeah. 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 How dressed up are you for Jesus? Uh -huh. Are you, can I just do this way, this way? Are you getting your wig done? Uh -huh. Okay, men. Are you getting your hair done? Uh -huh. Oh, this is way. Are you getting ready to me? Are you getting your fade? Uh -huh. Jesus. Come on, where we at? Where we at? Uh, are you the faith ready for the day? Uh, and women, are, are, are you spiritually getting your, your pedicure spiritually? Uh, what I mean by that, are you being in the Word? Uh, are you fasting uh, for the groom? Because yeah. he's coming back for his yeah. bride. Yeah. What are you doing to meet your groom? Oh my God. What are you doing to meet the groom? Yeah. Are you making preparations to yeah. meet the groom? For that day, but all we, the church, are we making ready for the groom when he comes back? Yes. He's coming back with a church without spot or wrinkle. Yes. Are you ready when he comes? Yes. I hear him say, when you say, Hello, look at him, ready or not, here I come. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. He said to us, church, he said, ready or not, here I come. Uh -huh. Are you ready for me when I come back? Yes. Are you making preparations for when I come back? Are you cleaning up your life for when I come back? Yes. Are you getting ready?
They wasn't prepared. They were not equipped mm -hmm. to hang in there until the groom came back. All right. They were came back. When the door is shut, mm. hear me, y'all. When the door is shut, mm -hmm. when the door is shut, you and I can't get in. If we're not prepared, if we're not ready, when he comes, we will not be able to get inside. Amen. When it's locked, it's locked. Mm -hmm. You can scream, holler all we want. God, let me in. Yes. Let me in. Please let me in. I don't care how many please we give. Mm -hmm. We should have, we had time, yes. we had opportunity yes. to get our life right with God. Yes. It makes no sense to set up in church and lose that and go to hell. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. So true. So true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that time in church.
can't do nothing wonderful works in your name. Right. And then all that in his name because his name is honorable. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. They use his name. Did I use a secular term? They pimp his name. Let me explain that. They use his name to get what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen to me here clearly. Jesus was not in it at all. They used his name, but he was not in it at all for us, uh, their relationship with him. All right. That's what I mean. All right. All right. They had no real relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But they used his name to get what they wanted. Mm -hmm. But in 23, here's what Jesus said. Oh, he brought me back. Okay. Thank you, man. And then, I would, say, I would say to them, I never knew you. And me, you never have a relationship with me. You were never connected with me. I don't know you. You're not a part of me. And I've said that when I thought to myself. I said, your preacher ain't going to get you to hell. They'll catch my demons, wonderful work, ain't going to get them into hell. He said there in 23, I never knew you. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't know you. He said, I never knew you. Mm -hmm. You were never a part of me anyway. Watch this. I'm, this is sad right here. This is sad right here. This is sad. He said, depart from me. You <laughs> who practice lawlessness, mm -hmm. who practice sin. Amen. And we get a lot of people in the poor pitch who practice sin. Mm -hmm. And expect because they're a bishop, apostle, or whatever they are. Mm -hmm. They can think their title, your title will get you in heaven. Amen. Amen. Your, your title is not going to get you in heaven. Amen. We just, we just read Je uh, Jezebel, who oh. called herself a prophet, did, is not going to get her to heaven. God, Jesus says, God through Jesus says this. He says, I will put you on a bed, a sick bed. I will kill your kids. Mm -hmm. God is not playing with any of us. Amen. God is serious about I walk with him. Mm -hmm. And I want to share this. I think I said it in the Bible. Said, I have a, a more a reverential fear for God than ever before. Mm -hmm. As I have got, got into revelation, mm -hmm. I have got a more reverential fear fear for God than ever before. Let me explain that reverential fear. It's to do better Amen. than ever before. Amen. Do better than ever before because this, he, he's not playing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I ain't got time to think of it, but if, if, if I go to, to, to chapter 9, mm -hmm. the scorpion, the, 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 the locusts and, and the tail of the scorpions and, and five months of torment, mm -hmm. constant torment, torture for five months or 150 days, that's the first wall. Amen. We can we we in the second wall. Come on. And it's worse. Yeah. I almost told y'all. Yeah. That's the son. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you that. Bless. He talks about these horses. They, these horses have heads of lions. Yes. Yes. These things are scary. Mm -hmm. These horses have bodies, bodies of horses. Mm -hmm. Has heads of humans. Mm -hmm. Hair like women. And had a tail like scorpions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. Yeah. God, that's his judgment. Yeah. Yeah. God is not playing about his judgment mm -hmm. on his churches. Amen. Amen. We know better and we ought to do better. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. God loves us so much. I don't think we know how much God loves us. Mm -hmm. God loves us so much. He's given us time after time after time to get closer to him. Mm -hmm. Just the other day, we had this, this respiratory thing for kids now. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. RSV. Mm -hmm. Monkey pox. Yes. It's COVID ain't on. Mm -hmm. And I remember the Bible says mm -hmm. in, in, in Matthew 24, he said there will be pestilence. Mm -hmm. Which means there will be plagues. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We're right there now, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. We need to turn the church needs to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. We right there with those pests and those plagues. Mm -hmm. COVID. Monkeypox. Mm -hmm. RSV. It's, it's more prevalent for kids and senior members. Can I go further? It's praying time. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Y'all hit me out oh, yeah. when I grew up. Uh, it's praying time. The sun is about to. What? Go down. Come on, somebody. Yeah. The sun is about to go down. It's praying time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God is crazy about us. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. We don't. I don't think we really fathom totally how much God is cares about us and crazy about us. He tells his church at the end of the Phantom Scout Tower, mm -hmm. keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. Maintain your walk with God. Yes. Don't do like the preacher with the mother. He went preaching the mother in the house with shit, baby. Are you holding on? Mm -hmm. At the time he said, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. She said, keep on keeping on. Yes, but he stopped keeping on. Uh -huh. I ain't calling the young know what's saying. Now I'm talking about now. Jesus. Jesus. God is telling us, keep on keeping on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold out. Mm -hmm. Don't you let nobody separate you from the love of God. Mm -hmm. Don't you let nothing separate you and distract you from the love of God. Amen. Which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. In mm -hmm. the 8th chapter of Revelation, Romans, rather, John, Paul says all the things that could separate him. Mm -hmm. Like death. Heights and all those things. He said, I will let nothing separate from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm -hmm. You got to be committed. Mm -hmm. But somebody said something other night. You got to stay focused. Amen. Amen. You and I have got to stay focused mm -hmm. on our walk with God mm -hmm. until He returns. Mm -hmm. He is on His way back. Amen. It is more closer now. Than it was last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's more closer now than it was six months ago. Because mm -hmm. all this stuff is happening. Mm -hmm. The economy is jacked up. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 we don't know what's going to happen during the election. Amen. We don't know what's going to happen. It's crazy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But God loves us yes, it does. Yes, it does. in a mighty and in an awesome way. Mm -hmm. Hold on. As the Bible says, hold on until he returns. Amen. The blessing is in the Holy Ghost. Blessing is in the ability to be in. Amen. Hold on. Yes, Lord. To God's unchanging hand. There are these two persons who desire to come to the altar. Amen. We extend the invitation at this time. If you will come to the altar. Mm -hmm. Right now. Okay. Don't be scared of the altar. We talked about it some night. We talked about it one night. The altar. We read the other night about the altar. The saints came to the altar and prayed. Amen. We don't go to the altar no more. And you ain't got to listen to me. You ain't got to do nothing wrong to come to the altar. Amen. Say that. I'm going that spirit right now. Say that. Say, well, hey, they're gonna say what they're gonna say. I'm gonna shut up. Come on. <laughs> we worry about what people gonna say. 
You know exactly what you need from God. Yeah. Come to the altar and keep what you need from the altar. Yeah. Is your all on the altar? Come on. The altar is here to bless you and you receive your blessing. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Do that yeah. Yeah. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. The saints came to the altar and prayed. It's not only for the saints, it's for the saints. It's for strength. Yes. Pray for your son. And, and let me say something else. I was going to come to you with somebody last night. If you come for your child, don't you worry about why, why you're coming. You know what you come for. Yes. If you want to pray for your son's deliverance, yes. come on. Yes. And you keep coming for your son's deliverance for your daughter's deliverance. Come on. Block them out. Block them out. And you that come every Sunday, come on. Block them out. The blessing is at the altar. Talk about it if you want to. I know what I need. Yeah, you ain't gonna kill my coming to the altar. Kill my blessing. I know what I need. Come to bless. I come to be healed. I come to be delivered. I come to be set free. I come to be lost. I come to be changed. I come to be transformed. Yes, I'm saved, but I come to be transformed. Amen. Is there anybody else? I'll wait for you. Let's go. Because something happened. Let me go, let me go go to do. And I told you, I'm going to say it again now. When we was at 449 Eleanor Street, people were at the altar. They came to the altar for business. Mm -hmm. Now here's what I'm going to tell you. I don't get out on my prayer. Mm -hmm. You pray for yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what you need. Mm -hmm. Is it all right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pray for you, but I don't know your direct need. Mm -hmm. God didn't share that with me. And sometimes he does, but he ain't sure me today. Okay. <laughs> I said, yeah. Okay. We're going to pray for some persons. Let's look to God. Most gracious and all wise Father. We thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your tender mercy. All of your bounty. This blessing you have stored up by us. Even what you have yet to do, we thank you. God, shape us, mold us to be the people you call for these last and evil days. Help us, Jesus. We need more of you. We need more of you in our lives. We need you to shape us, mold us, guide us, direct us. Make us the people you call us when you last and evil days. Yes, God, make us better. God, I pray, God, that we're given names. Bless Brother Lonnie Collins. Go in that hospital room and touch his body with your mighty hand of healing from the top of his head to the sole of his feet, God. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. That you bless the Diana family. Touch and bless them in the mighty, mighty way, God. Continue to bless her granddaughter, Simone. Thank you for spending her life. God bless the person that was with her. Touch her body with your mighty hand of healing, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for spending her life as well. Move by your mighty hand, by your mighty power. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, you bless God. Oh, uh, Elijah, connect. Touch him in the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Move God, move God. Bless the sin the water. Touch our body with your mighty hand of healing God. From the top of my head to the soul of the feet, touch in the name of Jesus. Touch Elder Walker. Touch about your mighty hand of healing God. 
We speak healing. We speak health be upon his body. From the top of his head to the soul of his feet, God. Move by your mighty hand. Move by your mighty power, God. Move in the name of Jesus. Touch the Joseph Queen's body. With your mighty hand of healing, God. From the top of my head to the soul of his feet, God. We speak of that by healing and health be upon our body, God. Oh, God, I pray you bless you. Oh, God, bless the Burgess Robinson. Touch our body. With your mighty hand of healing, touch from top of the head to so of feet. Move out of the gate every pain of this country and touch her in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, God, you bless the Carter family. You touch and bless them and touch and bless Tamara. Touch and move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless the police of all. Touch our body with your mighty hand of healing, God. Give strength. Give energy to Lisa's body, God. In the name of Jesus. God, be loose. Restore our health, God. In the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Oh, God, bless. All these who are at the altar. Name by name and one by one. You know God. What they're here for, God. You know God. What they're standing in you, God. I pray the Lord in all some name of Jesus. You touch and meet the needs of these who are at the altar, God. God, move by your mighty hand. Move by your mighty power, God. Touch God. Encourage God. Strengthen God. There are some who are standing still of, of another person or of their children. God. Move and on that behalf, God. Touch in the name of Jesus. Do it, God. Do it, God. Bless them mightily. Bless them abundantly, God. These blessings we have in Jesus' mighty and awesome name we pray. And we do thank you. Amen. Amen. You keep praying the case, y'all. Keep praying. Keep coming to you. Bless the mighty. God bless the mighty. Bless you, Miss Pete.
times or three times? Four times. Four times. Four times. Four times. I said it. And really, it's not that much better. And now, I received a call the other day. He had a stroke. Was it Thursday or Friday? Thursday. Friday. Friday. Okay. He had a, he had a, he had a stroke. It's prayer time, y'all. Yes. Yes. People are going through stuff. We don't even they ain't gonna tell us. But just pray for each other. Yes. People are going through some stuff that are devastating. Yes. They have they have not experienced before in their lives. It's prayer time. Yes. It's time for prayer and seeking the face of God. Because the people of God are going through some stuff they have never experienced before. And we need to lift, keep lift, lift, lift the people up. And, I, and I, I need us to pray for, and I'm going to just call people today now, call, prayer for Elder Walker yes. and Sister Josephine. Yes. I say serious prayer for them. And I got from Lisa, serious prayer for Lisa. Because what Lisa shared with me has been concerned. We need to lift these, these persons up. Seriously, in prayer. Mm -hmm. What Lisa shared with me is devastating. And as the other shepherd, it's, it's hurting my heart. Lisa don't like to miss church. Yeah. These people don't like to miss church. And we need to pray for them and for each other. Mm -hmm. Because we're in fearless times. And we don't know what's next for us. We don't. We don't. So let's keep these persons lifted up in prayer. Keith, please, brother, I, I'm, I'm urging you, I'm begging you to keep these persons in prayer. Please. And each other in prayer. Please. Thank you. Nothing else goes on to I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to do this one. He was going to let you do it. Thank you, my Lord. Most gracious, most merciful, most gracious. Be glory, majesty, dominion, power. 